Hey guys, in this quick video, I want to cover accelerometer calibration. Some of you may have skipped this, probably because we told you to skip it. It's not a critical step to get your board up and running, but it often is sort of the key piece to, to getting everything perfect. One very common issue that people face when they haven't done the accelerometer calibration is when you do a tight U-turn, your board will be either nose down or nose up coming out of the turn, and then a couple seconds later, it levels out again. That's a common accelerometer problem, or if you do a curb drop and the nose goes down um, for a second or two, that would also be accelerometer related in most cases. Step one is update your VESC tool to 6.2. You don't need to update the firmware, but update your tool and your app. The iOS version is now available too. So download that from the App Store and then let's go and connect. Board is on, we connect to it. Now it warns you because this is the 6.2 version, it warns you that you have old firmware, but ignore that warning you can keep your 6.0 firmware and now we are connected. Yeah, and before we're gonna do that, we're going to hit backup configs. So we're going to back up our configuration. That will make sure that if you somehow screw it up, that you can get back to what you had before. So now let's get started. The IMU wizard, set up IMU here. This video is not a from scratch video. The other videos are still, they still apply. This is only accelerometer calibration. So this is this third one. And basically the way it works is the accelerometer measures your acceleration and gravity is basically one G and it measures gravity alongside yours and you want to calibrate it so that it measures gravity at exactly 1.0. That's the idea. And it has three directions, X, Y, and Z, and we got to calibrate all three of them. So we'll start with X and the way we do this is we got to turn the board to see that it starts increasing towards one. Nope. Uh, here we go. All right, it looks like I need to lift it up like this. So, um, and you can do this out on the trail, wherever. This um, You don't need to be at a workbench or anything. Now, you just need patience. So basically what you're trying to do is you try to find the highest value. And that should be right around um, one just slightly below or slightly above. And now you see, I can't get the value to increase anymore. I can move it back and forth. Here we go, 9.61, 9.63. Okay, so in the position where it still increases, kind of hold it and see if you can get it higher. But don't wiggle it around because then you will get higher values, at least sometimes. I don't know, actually it's wiggle proof. It used to be that when you wiggled it, it would spike, but uh, that gets filtered out, nice. So yeah, my max is 0.965 and looks good. I can't get it any higher. So now I can go and say, save. And that takes me to the next one. Now on to Y. So Y will be, this way, okay. So now it's increasing. Again, I'm gonna wait until it maxes out. If your Mahoney value is smaller, this will be quicker, but because we work with a Mahoney of 2.0, this takes a little while, but really no reason to change it if you have a little bit of patience. So this one, a 
looks like 0.932 is the highest that I can get. All right, can't get it to go above that, so save that. And now Z. Z would be this, I assume. So this getting perfectly level. If you have a milk crate or something, that would help, but it's not really needed because you need to find the highest spot. It might not actually be where the board is perfectly level. Because here we're not calibrating the orientation of the board. We're just trying to find where the sensor essentially senses the highest value in the Z direction. All right. 0.988 looks to be the highest. And every IMU will be different, so some might give you values higher than 1.0. Don't worry about it, just try to find the highest value you can get. So 0.988 seems to be it for me. And there we go. Save that. And that's it, you're good to go. And if we now compare the values to what I had before, yeah, basically the, the values look a little bit different to what I had before. I had zero on Z offset and uh, I probably just did it all manually and that used to be a tedious process. My new values, they look reasonable. Anything higher than 0.1 is suspicious, right? Minus plus 0.1, it, those values shouldn't be big. They should be just like here, 0, 0.0 something. I've, I don't think I've ever seen more than 0.1 on any IMU I've installed. So if you get values that are that high, you may want to uh, try again because that's not typical. So the values you see here, that's very common, what I've seen in other cases before. So that should be it. I really have to thank Mitch for this new IMU wizard. It makes it so much easier than it used to be. And in 6.2, it looks like pretty much all the bugs are removed. So great work. Thanks for watching. That's all I got.